see this video will have some vegan and vegetarian stuff but most fast foods aren't vegan and vegetarian and I want this video to be applicable to everybody so it will also have meat in it but I will just try to keep this as equal as possible first and foremost it's almost always healthier to eat chicken and turkey over beef and ham you know white meats over red meats it's just healthier in general uh, so if you wanted to get a burger like you want a Big Mac but you want it with chicken or if you want a Whopper but you want it with chicken just say can I have um, a chicken burger made like a Big Mac or a chicken burger made like a Whopper you know something like that that is just really easy because all they have to do is switch the meats you know the price may go up it may go down it may stay the same but your health is more important than a couple of cents, you know. Um, if you can, or you know, if you're not too shy, or if you know the menu of the place that you're gonna eat really well, I would suggest asking for grilled chicken because grilled chicken like goes on the grill rather than the deep fryer, so it doesn't have all the grease and oils that it's fried in. Get a side salad instead of fries, onion rings, curly fries, whatever the side is. Um, I would definitely suggest a side salad. It's the same price, at least where I've come from. You know, a, salad, a side salad is interchangeable with fries and onion rings. So it really will just help you out in the long run, and that way, you I honestly think you are, you're more, more full. You get more full because you get a whole side salad rather than just a different uh, fry, you know? I think it's more healthier. Or if you just really need that fry fix or if you don't have time to eat a salad, like if you're in the car and you're just going, uh, ask to get your fries, which are pretty much at every fast food place. Get them without salt. That way you're almost always guaranteed that they are fresh because they have to make them new because everything else has the salt on it. And you don't have the sodium count going into your body. As long as you're okay with waiting for them to make the fries without salt, they're your golden you know it's pop maximum I would say five minutes to make a fry no salt as long as you're chill with that uh, to further down your intake I would definitely stick to the smaller food portions um, if you want you can ask them to give you know ask the cashier or the person taking your order at drive through ask for a value size or the smallest size or just say a small size because I've noticed uh, especially working with the people up front that whenever I ask small, medium, or large, people tend to go with a size medium because they're unsure and they don't know if they want a large, but they might want more than a small. Just always go with the small. You know, you can upsize your drink, you can upside your side, but generally a small is cheaper and it's less calories, especially if you go with the small side for you. Another really good example of a smaller size is Burger King has a Whopper, but we also have a Whopper Junior. It's made the exact same way, but a Whopper Junior is about half the size of a Whopper. So, you know, it's really good to do it that way. Another thing I suggest would be to get your food without cheese. Like, if you want a cheeseburger, just get a burger. But it just it helps bring down the cholesterol, and it gets rid of calories, and it probably will save you a little bit of money, too, because cheese can become expensive and long. You, instead of having a pop, ideally have water. That's like the healthiest thing you can have. But ask if they have juice, ask if they have tea. You know, just cut the sugar away. Lemonade, you could have Sprite mixed with lemonade, half and half or whatever. But it's always healthier to not drink pop. Like McDonald's has Powerade and that's that tastes so good. And um, there's lemonade and definitely tea. Tea is really good. Uh, unsweet tea is really good because it's just flavored water vegan and vegetarian option. Uh, I'm pretty positive that McDonald's in the UK has a veggie burger, but I know Burger King in America does, and the default of a veggie burger at Burger King is mayo, lettuce, tomato, pickles, ketchup, and onions. So if you want it to be vegan, it is a vegan patty. Uh, get it no mayo, and vegetarian, obviously you're a okay to go. So look into that because that's obviously healthier for you because it's getting you your protein but it doesn't have the fats and stuff. So I'm sure there are 
dozens and dozens of more healthy ideas for fast food, but those are just my little life hacks that I've learned while I worked at a fast food place, and I hope you find these useful. I know I have.